See whether this is fat wood or not. This saw is pretty good, as in the other ones. No, it doesn't sell too fat woody, but the point of the saw is when you get it enough, this thing's really. Get it through enough, you can use it to break things, right? That's pretty strong, that knife. Okay, let's do it again. It's a bit awkward, that. Hold on. Let's take it a bit. Look at that, that's pretty strong that. That's pretty strong. Uh, I can bust that out of there. That's abuse. That's abuse, you see that? That's raw abuse. And this is labeled as a combat tech knife with the word combat. And I reckon it is. Right, I'm gonna try some abuse here. This is abuse. All right, total abuse. Total abuse. Right, okay, I'm just gonna see how this chops. There's a bit of weight in it. Can chop with it. Let's have a look at this, hold on. I'll take these to put the meat on. Got that there. All right, let's just take one of these. Hold on.
handle's a bit, because it's such a small handle, it's a bit slippery. I think with gloves on, I might roughen the handle up a bit. There's one stick to put some sausages on. And uh, let's take this other one, hold on. It's a bit fat, maybe. Right, okay. Right, this will be the other skewer. It's not exactly uh, a chopper because it's too small. Right, I'm going to try this another time. This is just to scrape some birch bark with this knife. All right. There we go. Okay, that took long enough. This is a good knife for stroking a steel, but uh, the wood's really damp. And anyway, we've got the thing going. Handle could be much rougher on this. It's a very comfortable grip, but because it's not, it's a bit slippery too, which is no good. Right, okay, so I bought this the other day basically because it's a bit of a collector's item. It's the ATOR Combat Tech Sawback Military Knife. It was made for a very short period of time by ATOR after they were taken over, I believe, by the Pyoku company. Uh, it's not made anymore, it's discontinued. There were two kinds of handles with it. Um, they made one with a Makata handle and also one with this fennel graph, which is like a phenolic uh, composite material. And they were varying, the handles were of varying quality uh, and that was a big problem. The blades were the same. I've got to say the blade's really good. It's not really a chopper, you can chop with it. It's very strong, it's a very strong knife. You've seen me levering with it. Got a very strong tip, this knife. And I think that's probably why it was, you know, labeled this combat tech, because it's really, you know, you could lever with it. I wouldn't suggest it, but. For a small knife, you know, and you've got this saw. Right, so I doubt that I could cut through this thick branch with this, but I just want to show you the saw on here. You can see this saw really cutting into it. A lot of wood coming out. You see, it cuts a pretty deep notch straight away, so you can, you know, use this for, for notching. That's for sure. Um, no problems. See that? It's incre incredibly strong. The saw back is the same on the Osso Blanco series. Uh, Let's take a closer look at that. So here's the saw back here, and they've got a special machine in ATOR to uh, cut these notches in there. These things are really effective at cutting monofilament fishing line, thick fishing line, cord, and all sorts of things. It's a clearly a you know influence from old European designs, this recurve section in the blade. Uh, good enough for cutting rope and things. I've, you've seen me prepare some vegetables with it. It's easy enough to prepare food with, despite it being a pretty thick knife. You know, you, it's not a vegetable knife, but you can do it. Oops, fire's getting hot. But the thing that lets it, and it's a short blade, so it's good, you know, it's easy to draw out and that from the scabbard. The thing that lets it down is the handle. The handle's a tad short. Well, you see that there? There's my grip. Can you see that on there like that? Also, the reverse grip is comfortable like that there. But I feel the handle needs to, it's too smooth on here. It needs to have some grooves in there for extra grip. It is very comfortable. It's, I, you know, can't fault it for comfort, but just because the handle is comfortable doesn't mean to say it's grippy, okay? So you've got to bear that in mind. But anyway, 55 to 58 Rockwell, Rockwell tested. Uh, what can I say? Yeah, I bought it because it's a collector's item, I believe, and I like it. Uh, I can use it out in the bush. It doesn't roam. It's a really strong knife. and probably you know an okay uh, you know if it was the only knife I had on me out here you can see let's take a look up there we're in the middle of nowhere it's uh it would it would be you know a pretty tough survival knife it's very very strong 
and it, and it does hold, the steel does hold an edge once it's re-profiled. So there you go, ATOR Combat Tech. Um, thanks for watching, Bush Camping Tools here.